Okay, here I am back in the lab again. Now what I want to do today is use my low speed wind tunnel to test the stability of a small model rocket. Now what I've done is I've used open rocket simulation software to calculate the theoretical position of the center pressure. And it's actually located in this model back here towards the fins. Now if you recall, in an earlier video, I used an old fashioned swing test to try to test the stability of rockets and verify how well open rocket worked and it did pretty well. So today, with this wind tunnel, we'll see if we get similar results. Here's the open rocket analysis I've done on the rocket I'm using in the wind tunnel tests. Now the fins are square, the root cord is 3.81 centimeters, the tip cord is 3.81 centimeters, and the height of the span of each individual fin is 3.81 centimeters. And there are four fins on the rocket. Now a very simple body tube, it's 16.5 uh, centimeters in length and about 2.54 centimeters in diameter. And the nose cone is no drive shape, it's got a, a length of 10.2 centimeters and a base diameter of 2.54 centimeters. So very simple model and we see here is the center of pressure, this red dot is at 22 centimeters from the front of the rocket. So it's 22 centimeters between the nose tip and the center pressure. And we'll see how that bears out in our wind tunnel tests. So here's my model rocket in the wind tunnel for my first test. Now if you recall from the open rocket analysis, the center pressure was way back here towards the fins, 22 centimeters from the nose tip. Now what I've done is I've added weight to the front of the rocket to move the center of gravity forward. It's actually three calipers of stability on this rocket, or three body diameters, so it should be very stable. Now recall that the wind is moving from the right to the left in this tunnel, so right now the rocket's pointed in the wrong direction, it's pointed backwards. So let's run the experiment and see what happens. All right, turning on the airflow, and you see the rocket points into the airflow appears to be very stable as expected with three calibers of stability. I'm using the stick to try to uh, perturb the rocket to see if I can get it to go unstable. But it always corrects quickly and always points into the airflow. So again, that's a characteristic of a very stable rocket. Okay, let's look at a second test. Now what I've done is I've moved the center of gravity back. So now I've got about 1.5 calibers of stability. So the rocket still should be stable, but certainly not as stable as the first test. So let's go ahead and run the test and see what happens. Now you notice the rocket snaps into the airflow as expected because it is stable, but you notice that the oscillations are bigger and it takes longer for it to damp out and point directly into the airflow. So obviously this rocket is stable, yet not quite as stable as the first test. So here's the third test with minimal stability. There's probably 0.1 to 0.2 calibers of stability. Recall that the center of pressure is back here somewhere and the center of gravity is just slightly in front of it. Now notice how long the oscillations take to damp out. So the rocket is stable if the nose is pointed into the airflow and it can tolerate some perturbations, but eventually if the angle of attack gets too great, the rocket will go unstable. And now wants to try to fly backwards. Of course, this can't do that in the wind tunnel. It's constrained, but you'll see the unstable characteristics of the rocket attempting to fly backwards. Again, there's a slight positive stability to this rocket, so it will fly in the airflow as long as the angle of attack doesn't get too great. So, this bears out that the open rocket simulation does predict the center pressure quite well. Well, it looks like the wind tunnel tests have verified the accuracy of the open rocket simulation software. That's real good news. The swing tests and the wind tunnel tests support the accuracy, and so it gives me good confidence in that software being able to predict rocket stability fairly well. Well, I hope you learned a little bit more about stability to see what it looks like in a wind tunnel test, and I hope to see you next time on LabRat Scientific.